Servus! Welcome back to Indie Appreciation Week and today we're gonna be playing a brand new demo. Today we're gonna be playing Hazel Sky, which is, according to Steam, a heartfelt adventure about a young engineer facing his destiny and his desires. Fix ramshackle flying machines and jump, climb, swing and slide through a beautiful mysterious world. And I don't know about you, but that sounds like my cup of tea, so I'm gonna press any button. Looks great already. My options, what are my options? Can we have subtype? I don't want Portuguese. Thank you. But please give me subtitles. Good. Good, apply that. Um, controls, I think we're gonna learn anyway. I think we're gonna get a tutorial, so no need to do that. Let's just play. Ciara, the island used by the Casey family for generations. Around 20 miles of tropical vegetation, sand, and family member corpses. Many have failed the trial or just decided not to leave this place. Today is the day that Flynn Casey, using his extravagant gloves, takes his son Shane to this same trial. As tradition demands, the young boy needs to go back to Gideon the city floating in the sky on the horizon. Completing this task will determine whether he becomes an engineer. Shane's father is the right arm of the current 23rd engineer, the highest rank in the city, and sees the necessity of new engineers since their number has dwindled and a revolution is brewing. Uh -huh. Artists, beggars, hand workers, they are all whispering in the dark. And with each day, a new rumor arrives. A new lie is told and the engineer's strong grip on the city becomes weaker. They will lose control of Gideon the same day a great storm will hit this island on the 24th of April, 1915, today. Oh, narrator, so you know the future, interesting. Yeah, well, that's an ominous narrator, that's always good to know. I was thinking like maybe the guy paddling is talking, but then as he described the narrative, it's like, okay, fine, then it's an external narrator. So, Gideon. Was that our name? I forgot already. Jesus, my mem I've got a memory like a goldfish. Today is not a good day, apparently. <laughs> oh. Shane. You cold? Oh no, we're Shane. Okay, we're not Gideon, we're Shane. No. Who's Gideon? Our eyes bound. Oh, we're blindfolded. Our eyes Hold bound. This is something hand, people Shane. say, right? Please see. I don't like not seeing anything. Step forward now. Now you're on your own. <laughs> you don't sound so good. Take care, son. Oh well, thanks. <laughs> Great. So our dad left us on an abandoned island with dead people from our family. So, that is Shane. Hey, look at me. No, he doesn't want to. Okay. Oh boy. Uh, what is that? <laughs> is that my PC or is that the actual game? The Dawn, the first machine, volume one. Well, yeah, let's read that. Through an through iron and steam, we learn about the creation of the most glorious and dignified location in the whole world. This book contains the full story from the foundation of the city of Gideon. Oh, Gideon is the city. Okay. 
by the first engineer to the peril he faced when the first logic defiance tried to stop the launch of the first city into the sky. This book is also a guide to the relationship between Gideon and its four sister cities. There's more to this. Okay, put that away. Interesting. What's over here? The map is missing the floating bay. I, okay, yeah, I saw that. Beggar retreat, white middle district, airfield, high engineer council. Okay, what's this? A note. Hey buddy, now it begins. Your granddad was the first one on this island and after that each member of a family has gone to her. I remember when your grandpa told me that your uncle Ro would be back in less than a day. He didn't. In fact, you already know the story of what happened to your uncle. The madness of our curse will chase you while you're in there, but if you don't succumb to it, you may arrive at the other side an engineer. Son, you never asked why we do this, but now you can uncover whatever you wish. Here is where we find out who we truly are. You never doubted a word I said to you, but while you prove yourself a capable engineer, I beg you to doubt all that you encounter. This may be the most important trait an engineer can have. So I ask you, do you have it? Lynn Casey. Okay, thanks, Dad. Uh, rotate. Ooh, I like that. Okay, I don't need that. What else is there? Lovely portrait. Interesting stuff. Oh, we have a bed. Beds are always good. But I don't want to sleep yet. Uh, the camera movement is a bit shaky, but that could be my PC. It, it's a bit old now. What do we have here? Uh, is that the staple kind of thing? Yeah. I examine that. Used to fix machine parts. The number one tool of every engineer. Yo, nice. Uh, put that away. Okay, can we go? Oh, a music box, a jukebox, hi! I, I cannot, okay, I cannot play music. Oh, hold to grip. What? What? Why did you do that? <laughs> okay. And now, oh, okay, that that was rocky. Uh, interesting. Okay, what's over here? Beans and pork. Cool. Always use that. What's here? Matches. Same ones. Nice. Good for you. He's a bit jerky in his movements. Uh, could be... Okay. Interesting. But like, first... No, don't do that. Please let us check out what's in here. In this... Oh, okay, a disgusting toilet. And... Uh, God, what's it called? Telescope thingy. Oh, looks nice outside. What? Oh, I'm having that thing. In, in, okay, oh, whoa, oh, whoa. Maybe you want to look outside? Oh, we can zoom. That did not sound good. Am I not the only one in here? Unequip, please, thank you. Ah, uh, a spyglass, thank you. G, B, M, C, A, and D. Is that important? Probably. Okay. Oh, G E N C. God, what was it? G B M 
C G B M C A M D. God dang it. G B M C F A M D. God gosh darn it. <laughs> it's always selecting other notes. I I hope that's not important. Okay, let's see what's upstairs. Oh, what is this? Heart. Hear thy call and end your suffering all through the right way of thinking. You may then concede eternal loyalty to return home. Oh, there's a heart in the casket. Okay. Be faithful to the belief of the first engineer and live a life full of great service. Move every hammer with the same will you did the first time. And never give up give up on the only truth that inhabits life, the first logic. Okay, but like logic isn't everything, right? Myra here. We've been silent long enough. They don't know what's coming to them. They can spit in our faces now, but we will give everything back to them. It's going to be soon. If you want to help us and fight back the repression, meet us at the statue tomorrow at noon. Join us. We will not be quiet for much longer. Red paint will wash the streets soon enough. That's the radio. Okay. Pots. No, it's a ring. Ooh. Aunt Berta's first ring. My cousins told me about those. They are oh, oh, four of them. Okay, well, we'll take that. What is this? The eye. Enter the city with a new title to start your new life. The proving is the time to carefully watch and evolve yourself. Mm -hmm. Always be aware of your surroundings and how to use it and your, to your benefit. An engineer should be able to bend nature elements to his will and see more on them than what the eye looks. Okay, what is this? That's more interesting. You follow the blueprint. First task is to fix the glider and fly to Ciara, Kiara, using it. Fix the hole in the back of the glider using wood. Cover the biggest tear on the left wing using cloth. Insert coal in the launcher and proceed to the island. Uh, yeah, I did that. That's easy. Is it? Is it though? A uh, cigar. A friend of mom with red hair. Is he your father made because you have red hair? So maybe you know your father isn't your father? Dramatic! Is there something on the other? God, God dang it! Ah. What the fuck? I did not see that giant hole here. Uh, a grate. Yeah, I could have seen that. Should have seen that coming. What's out here? An oven called- oh, that's the glider. Oh, nice view. So that thing in the distance, there is the city we're supposed to be looking at or going home to. That's cold. Cool. Let's get this done. He's eager to work. I cannot use any of this, can I? Oh, nice, a corpse. Hi. Paul. You know that guy? Who is Paul? I don't want you to waste who you are like I did. Do what you want, Shane. Your dad and mine and everyone in that town will tell you what you should do all the way up until you die a dumb death like mine. You'll be completely forgotten by anyone if you keep doing this. The woman is closer now. Don't go back to Gideon if you don't want to. Okay. I won't mess this up, Paul. Did he mess this up? Okay, uh, first thing was, I already forgot. What am I doing? No, I don't want to use this. It doesn't let me do anything. Great, um, we need coal for this. There is coal over here, but I can't do anything with it now, can I? Should I not be doing this? Where are blueprints? No, unequipped. 
Ah, here, okay. Fix the hole on the bag using wood. Yeah. Wood is on the... Yeah, but like, wasn't wood on there? Ah, oh, there's cloth. I mean... That's... That's that spyglass, I don't want that. Ah, now I can do something. Mm, what does that do? Should I throw that down? I'm not sure what, what... What would you want me to do with that? Gosh darn it. I cannot push it further down. Can I climb on this? Uh, should I have gripped that? Probably. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm getting to terms with this, so this is gonna take me a while to get accustomed to. Okay, no, I can't grip it like that. Good to know. Can I put this box someplace else? Moon seeks no fool. What? Is this like the best I can make it? I'm afraid it is. Gosh darn it! Is that not what I'm supposed to be doing? I'm pretty sure it is. Fuck you, then we're not doing this. Uh, what else can we do? Oh, it was downstairs. Can we get outside? We should be able to get outside, right? No, okay. Why, why did I think we could? Oh, what's here? The calling. Unexplained occurrences that defy the fast logic. Every event described in this book took place in the city of Gideon during the obscure time's reign, with the 13th engineer in power. In authoring this book, my focus was not on trying to convince you about those events, but on speaking to the meaning they carry as a whole with regard to the health of the city and the people who live here. Some may call the following text myths or folk tales, but if you ask the majority of people who lived through the era of the 13th engineer, they will not only confirm those events, but indeed, they act like those facts are common knowledge to every person. From the most disgusting artists to the most brilliant engineer of the time. This makes me ask the important question. Why have our parents and grandparents stopped talking about those events? Are they no longer occurring? Witness Marcus Monaghan told us that a strong rumor started to circulate that we should not tell our kids about those events which are not explainable by first logic. And that the lovers of those events and always beneficiary... Are always the beneficiary in those stories? Oh no. The lovers of those events and always the beneficiary in these stories were artists, those who hate logic and common sense, those who love lust and the most unthinkable behavior. The trigger for some people of the escalating number of unexplained events that are taking place is the erratic and eccentric behavior of the city's new leader, the 23rd engineer that has taken office, Devlin Donnelly, also known as Devil Devlin, the grandson of the 13th engineer. This book protects what the future may hold for the city of Gideon. Read it at your own risk. This book will probably come, be confiscated and censored by city officials, but this will neither instigate nor the later strange occurrences. Uh, okay. Loads to read. Uh, there's a box that we can access. Uh, that was that. Oh, a key. I thought we were going to go to sleep. This seems really old. Nice. Yeah, take the key. Uh, and now can I open this? Should be able to, right? Keep rotating. Oh, this is fun. Gideon, examine. 
This used to be given to citizens that denounced any art or artists in the city. I remember seeing some get arrested in the main square because of that. Gideon honor badge. Cool, was that everything? I thought I was getting something really cool and helpful. That was that. Okay, well I don't need the cloth just yet. Actually, I need... Yes, and do that. Oh, this worked better than the first time. Is there anything else I've missed? Beans. I cannot use those. The matches are also used to me. And if I try that again, I'm just gonna fall down. Oh no, that's not this. That That's that. Maybe this is important. Gosh darn it. G. B. M. C. A. M. D. And it is, and now what? Nothing. Okay, great. Uh, so this, this, this does nothing. Or I just fucked it up without realizing it again. Um, fine. Cigar? I don't need a cigar. Is there anything in there that I forgot? See, there's wood. Oh, oh my god, I'm so stupid. I just need to keep a hold of that. Need to use this somewhere. Yeah, here. Perfect. Perfect. Great. Wow, I'm stupid. Okay, cover the biggest tail on the left wing using cloth. Well, that brings us back into peril because the cloth is in that chest that I do not seem to get a hold of. Can I? Because I cannot throw it down here. I want to throw that down. Try this one more time. No, this is not working. Okay. But like if I push it down, this is still too high up. I don't even think I'll be able to push it down the stairs if I try that. Uh, well, let me try that anyway. Well, maybe that's not even what I need to be doing. No, yes, please, over here. Okay, let me grab it from this side. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> okay, this is not working. <laughs> I should just let this idea die. Then again, I really don't want to. Because this seems like the logical thing for me to do. Jump over there. What does this say? Moon claims your skin, moon fears the dark. Okay. Is there anything up? Oh, wow, I'm stupid. I, I really am that stupid. Okay, well. Mm -hmm. Can I, by any chance? No, can I not? Yeah, I can. That, no. No, 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 please. Don't, don't fall. Thank you. What the fuck are you doing? Why is he jumping over there? You did that the first time. And now. 
Oh, it's over here. Okay. 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 Well. Yeah, I can push that one down. Smart. Oh, no, I'm falling. Great. Great. This place is not in the best of shapes. I thought this was a skull for a second. <laughs> it was just a big ball of cloth. Okay, uh, I need this to fix the wing. With my trusted stapler. Now we need coal. Coal is here. Done. That's it. Done. Done. And now? Can we get in now? Ooh, we can get in now. Whoa! Launch that shit. Hazel Sky. Okay, I cannot choose where we're flying though. You kind of can. This is, ah, uh, looks interesting. But like, I doubt we'll be able to fly over there with this. Yep. We're going down. Cool, we did it! I probably just... Thank you, Steam. Uh, I do not wish to have everything on display. Thank you. Interesting! Okay, well, um... Cool kids are returning the game. Thank you. <laughs> Interesting! Okay, well, I probably took way longer than anybody else because I'm, I, I just didn't see those yellow bars that are obviously yellow that are obviously here to make you climb on them. But interesting, this this game does have some potential, especially a lot of potential actually. The lore seems to be really interesting. And why is this family doing this? Why is everybody dying on this island? Do they want their family to die? Is there a logic behind this that I do not understand? But yeah, Hazel Sky, good demo, nice. Well, that's it for today, I think. Thank you so much for watching. And I will see you the day after tomorrow with another brand new demo. Servus!